So, we're in the car today. We are going for a little drive, because it's New Lens Day. New Lens Day is always a good day. Tunes are on, car's running. Let's go and get the new lens at the office. So I've been along to the office and I've picked up the new lens and I've got it in the bag and I've came along the road past a town called Yetham. And just as a wee exploration day, basically, I've came along and I've found this little gem here. Absolutely fantastic. I found a little kind of Ford style waterfall. So what I'm trying to think about is how I can go about getting a composition for the waterfall. Now, on the other side, you can shoot up and get the rocks right up the middle of the, right up the, the rest of the river. Or if I go to this side, you'll get the hills in the background. So it's all about finding that composition now. But yeah, I found this little thing, so this little fold. So let's, uh, let's have a little look around and see if there's anything photographical. So been standing around for 10, 15 minutes now trying to find a composition and I think I've found one. I'm not quite sure. It'll be quite interesting to see how the 1635 F2.8 makes this little area look. Um, there's some nice colours in the wet grass just at the back here. And with that, you've got the waterfall in the back. So I stick, I stick the six stop filter in. I'll surely get motion in the, in the, the little river, but it's all about trying to get an actual scene itself. The sun's really strong right now. Sunrise wasn't great. Um, I, I did wake up to have a look at sunrise, but the weather conditions just weren't right and it never really came to anything. So there wasn't really a point in getting up for sunrise. But here, now, with this, I think we might have something just to get a shot for the day, just to achieve something for the day. There's a good chance that sunset will be good. There's a potential for snow later on today. So if there's snow later on today, then we'll get a nice atmospheric shot for sunset. But right now we're just trying to find the shot for, for this one here to now. Unfortunately the big black kind of rain cloud that was hanging over the top of us has uh, is moved on. But I'm sure there's another one coming with a cold wind that's blowing as well. Surely we can catch something today. So we're balanced on this little rock and I'm balanced on this little rock with my camera as well. And what I'm waiting for is the sun just to break through the trees that little bit more and that cloud just to move that little bit more. I've got a little rock at the back of me here that I can use just to lean against. It's quite slippy down here. That's the sun coming out there now. Two second timer, three second exposure with the two stop filters in there. So I've got the 7.6 grad for the sky and I've got the six stop filter for a long exposure. Giving me real motion. I mean, the shot looks it looks awesome, it really does. I'm really impressed actually by the way that's coming out. I'll just bring it in a little bit. So an eight second exposure at F16. Gives me huge motion, completely nullifies any ripples in the river. It captures some motion in the clouds as well, giving it a really unbelievable look. It really is fantastic. I think five seconds is the best for the shot. Perfect, look at that. So let's have a little look at how the shot came out. You know, I've, I've come out today, um, basically just as a day out. I went to pick up the new lens and we've, uh, we've done some shoots with it, as you can see um, from, from just before. It's absolutely phenomenal. I'm, 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 I'm loving the wide angle. Um, the wide angle is a wee bit different to what I'm used to. I'm used to shooting with the, 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 the 24 to 105 or Fuji equivalent um, of the 24 to 70. So having the wider angle going to 16 millimeters on, uh, on, a, on a full frame, something I've never experienced before. So it's, it's getting used to the, the wide, wide angle. Um, and, and, and trying to get rid of that compression or the, the, the bevel um, from, the, from the wide angle. So I've just come out today as, as a wee day out, enjoy myself and get back into making videos again. It's something I've stopped doing, something I want to get better at, something I want to um, experiment in, doing more, more things, different, different variations. So 
I've come out, I'm sitting in the car, I've got unbelievable looking clouds around about me. I've got some little ponds and stuff around the area as well. So I'm going to go for a wee walk, um, put the hat on because the wind's unbelievable right now. And I'm hoping that these snow clouds in the distance might actually create some snow this afternoon or later on this evening. So let's, um, let's go for a wee walk and uh, we'll see what we can see. So I found a little pathway to walk along beside the river. Uh, just down by the Gatton side, the, 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 the bridge I was at the other night there. If you look at my Instagram page, you'll see that there's uh, the Leaderfoot Viaduct just behind me. Now I'm coming along a wee path, basically looking to see if there's any competitions. I've never been along here before, so this is just my first time walking along here. So we're exploring it together. Lovely, lovely area. I mean, look all around me, nothing but trees and just awesome, really really nice, little river run just beside me, nobody else on the path at all, nice little river run here, nice little focal points actually, so if you know where the Leaderfoot Viaduct is in the Scottish Borders, there's a wee parking area just uh, just at the bottom of the hill, I've parked in there and I've went the other direction from what I went the last time just to see if there is any kind of compositions along this area and basically to show you more of where I live and more about where I live because the Scottish Borders again is one of those areas that not a lot of people come down to, not a lot of people know about, not a lot of people visit and the likes of the Gala Shields and that kind of area so this, this is where I live let me show you a little bit more around about it. So having walked all the way up to the top of the hill, it just goes up beside the road, so there's nothing really to capture back that way there. So what I'm going to do, there's a wee, there's a wee, uh, there's a photo to take down here um, that is quite, quite a nice wee shot actually. Uh, the rain's coming on heavier, so I need to wait for that to pass. But there is a nice wee shot to be had just over here. There's a nice wee shot to be had everywhere actually, just as a wee nature shot. This is a nice wee area. So what I'll do is we'll get back just, just over here, set up the camera, and we'll have a wee look at what I'm doing. Is a stand in the rain. Love it. Yeah. 